Hello, my name is Malachi Moore. I am Vice President and Artist with Trip Gear. We work with a wide range of students from grades K through 12, and we encourage and teach them to be of good moral character and principle, and we do so through original art and literature. We are coming to you with a project called IMI7. Over the course of this project, we will be creating 105 pieces of provoking, conversation-starting artwork called iMice. And also, we will be producing seven brand new books, all having to do with the building of moral character. In iMice 7, we seek to progress what we've been doing for some years now, and that's creating original art and also original literature. On the art side, iMice, iMice is the name that we give to all of our illustrations. It stands for Image, Metaphorical, Inspirational, Character, Encourager. And what those are, are these very symbolic illustrations that contain scenes that are very familiar to not just young people, but I would say anyone. And what it allows people the time to do is to look at these images and to extract meaning from them. They get to ask the questions of what does this image say about relationship? What does it say about responsibility? What is the reason behind what the character inside the piece is doing? And how does that relate to my reality? I think about the illustrations, it may be complicated, but then if you look into it and see little things, and then as you realize the picture, it like opens up like a whole new thought of your a thought process that you didn't even think of before. Like when you start to see things and it has meaning to it, and you read the words, and then it all just comes together, and then there's stories to it. So the illustrations I think are a good way to show people. I think the way that they engage the students, even from the books that they make, just to teach them different things and learn skits, I think it's really good and that it should be spread out even more across the country. The 7 in IMI 7 stands for the 7 new books that we're creating. And so, with the literature, it's very much in the same vein as the art. It's telling a story that aims to really teach a lesson about good character about good moral, about respecting others, about being emotionally intelligent. So right now the talk of the town is violence, shooting, um, abuse, drugs, uh, the list goes on and on. We are in a cultural tug of war. So for every good word that we attempt to give our young people uh, to push them in the right direction, for instance we might tell a young person to stay away from drugs, but as soon as they turn on the radio, they get messages telling them that it's okay to drop cough syrup and alcohol and get drunk and get high. The entertainment is speaking in a cultural language that they can understand. We have to as well. With iMice, we have the power to use art to speak to these things in a way that shows young people, not just young people, but people of many different ages that such things as good character and good morals is not something ancient that is just as relevant today as it was 40 or 70 years ago. So this is the concise breakdown. One, seven brand new character books. Number two, 105 pieces of brand new iMice art. Three, enlisting students as concept creators who create the concepts for 50% of the art and also exercise giving value back to their community and then number four is to make all of this available to the world 105 brand new pieces of IMI's art and seven new books may seem like a lofty goal but we are confident that we can accomplish this as a small committed staff over the past four years we have already created over 100 pieces of IMI's we've been inside the classroom making the artwork and literature available for just as long and to great success. And so we are not asking you to participate in an experiment. We're asking you to contribute to something that actually works. Our chiefest obstacle to making IMICE art and literature widely available has been financing. And so we ask that you team up with us to make this great art and this great literature available to people the world over.